Charter flights play an integral role in the aviation industry around the world. They provide useful services for travelers to get to their destinations while contributing significantly to the overall economy of the market. However, what exactly are charter airlines? Let's explore this topic in today's video. To get a better understanding of the nature of charters, let's first take a look at the different types of flights. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, classifies civil aviation activities into two groups, general and commercial. General aviation includes instructional, pleasure, non-commercial business, aerial work, and quote-unquote, other flying. Meanwhile, commercial services are split between scheduled and non-scheduled. Non-scheduled services include on-demand operations such as air taxis and commercial business aviation, and notably, non-scheduled also includes charter services. So, on the surface of it, a charter is an unscheduled flight. It involves an aircraft that is hired for a specific journey and not part of a carrier's usual schedule. However, there are actually numerous types of charter flights. First, we have private charters. In general, a person hires an entire plane rather than booking specific seats on a commercial service. Then there are public charters. This is when an airline offers service to certain destinations on a limited basis. These are often seasonal and could be provided by tour operators renting an aircraft. Next are cargo charter flights. Just as with scheduled commercial services, goods can also be flown on charter services. The industry saw a ramp-up of this type of service amid the urgent medical supplies that had to move across the globe following the rise of the pandemic. And finally, there are affinity charter flights. With this type, travelers form part of a wider group or organization and pay for their own tickets. They may be sports or music fans going to a special event. The United States Department of Transportation, or DOT, concludes the following. A charter flight is a flight that is not part of an airline's published schedule. For example, an airline will not post on its website that the airline will operate a flight from point A to point B at 3 p.m. every Wednesday. Instead, charter flights are typically operated for specific unscheduled itineraries. While flying can be expensive, chartering can provide simpler solutions for companies and passengers needing to fly. The ability to choose the timing, plane, and destination goes a long way. Ultimately, the core advantage of this tailored service is flexibility. Charter carriers also have the gift of spotting opportunities across the board. They often snap up underutilized or aging aircraft and redeploy them across their operations. All in all, charter airlines come in all shapes and sizes, from specialist charter outfits to major airline subsidiaries. A notable subsidiary is Air Canada Jets. This branch of Canada's flag carrier primarily serves corporate clients and professional sports teams with its all-premium cabins. Across the spectrum, Spanish low-cost carrier Volatia operates a special service for Airbus employees, shuttling them between Hamburg and Toulouse. You may have even been on a charter flight without realizing it. Several package holiday firms actually sell vacations to hotspots that transport passengers via charter airlines. From downturn to high demand, charter flights are a great way for the industry to adapt. Have you ever flown on a charter service? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.